In this video, I will show how to create a page that can be accessed only by certain user types. In order to do this, I will create a button that opens a new page, and this button will be accessible only to administrative users. To begin configuring these users, start by double-clicking User Groups, which is found within Security. Here you can click the plus sign to add a new user group. You can change the group name by clicking in the name cell and typing a new name. User permissions are organized based on their group type. Next, double click on users so that we can add a user that we will sign in with. In order to add a new user, click the plus sign, assign the user a name, a password, and a group. The default user is the user that will be logged in when the project is started. You can change this here. I've created a button that I would like to be read-only for user group 1, and a button that I would like to hide from user group 1. In order to do this, I can click on my button, right-click it, and select security settings, and now select the group whose settings I would like to edit. Now I can change the permissions for this widget to read only, which means that group one will be able to see the button, but pressing it will do nothing. I can do the same thing for the second button, except that this time for permission, I will select hide, which will completely hide the button from user group one. The third button on my page will be used to change users. Whenever we click on this button, it will take us to a new page that allows us to log in as a different user. In order to do this, we can click on the button and add an action on mouse click. The action that we are looking for is found under user management and is called switch user. Click OK to add the action. Now I will simulate the project. Notice that while I am logged in as user 1, the default user, I can see the first button and I cannot see the second button. When I click on the first button, I am not taken to the administrator page. Now I will switch users and log in as the admin. Now I am able to see both buttons and I can click on the button to take me to the admin page.